Pac May has explosiveness that corresponds exactly to what I wanted for uh, this story of revenge. Pac May is ferocious, fast, powerful, and accurate. And uh, yeah, you have a lot of strikes who are coming out like this. The player will create the choreography. It depends only on them to make a beautiful situation. When I was uh, 14, I went to China with my father, get back in France and start uh, learning Chinese in school. So I find some master in France, but I didn't find the right master and the right style for me in France. So I went to China and uh, I find uh, Pak Mei in Foshan and I start learning with this clan. The right master is Lao Weisan. I wanted to be better and start to be one of the best. One day uh, I became master myself. Most of Kung Fu we, we see, it is like uh, what Jetty uh, is doing, it's like opera Kung Fu. No one fight like this uh, in real life. It's amazing, but this is not uh, authentic. And I was searching for something real. So the idea was to have the best of both worlds, credibility, the expertise of Benjamin in terms of movement, in terms of real combat, and uh, on our side, uh, our knowledge about uh, combat design. For me, it was natural to integrate Benjamin Spack May into our game to use his moves as an inspiration for our main character's animation. I bring some specifics in the mechanics of uh, the gameplay, the interaction with uh, other NPC. I create a movement of three weapons for the main character, the baseball bat, machete, and uh, the staff you will see is Pak Mei from Foshan. I really wanted to have uh, something uh, very immersive, really cool on the screen, but there is also sometimes game design things that don't fit with this. Should I do the thing that will be better for the game design or the thing that will be better for the stuff on the screen or for the feeling in the game? Basically, we take the data from the, the capture and we post-animate it. So we, we shape it to respect the animation direction and the style. For instance, we have to add real impacts. We better synchronized action, we add camera movements, we add camera shakes, we add viscerality. The, the player must be amazed on each finishing move he performs. Some move would change a little bit because um, it was making sense uh, when we were doing like this, like a stab yesterday, we do a stabbing technique and I needed to finish uh, the NPC with a, a stabbing technique and at the end I thought, oh no, it will be good to just uh, cut the throat. And I just changed the technique like this, because in the action, it was feeling more like this. I wanted to share with, with them not just the technique, but also the cultural side. It's important for us to be respectful of the Chinese culture and to also show to the player uh, little details for Benjamin or also for me uh, are important in the life of a Kung Fu master or a Kung Fu student. After we have this picture of uh, what Kung Fu really is, well, we just uh, go deeper and deeper about this. Jordan say, OK, uh, what about uh, this Wu Guan? Is it Feng Shui good? say, what? <laughs> you really want me to check this? And he say, of course. So I start checking the Wu Guan uh, design. Okay, this door cannot be here, this kind of stuff. This is great that they go deeper like this. In our game, we don't want to depict the main character as uh, invincible. We want the player to have pressure to be uh, surrounded by uh, multiple enemies. Any mistakes of the player can be deadly. And uh, I came with uh, one idea, two ideas, three ideas. Say, OK, this one, this one is the greatest one. This is what we want. And we just uh, move forward like this all the time. 
Uh, actually, there are, there are uh, I don't know, maybe 160 moves only for the main characters. Each move was uh, designed for a particular situation. It needs to be uh, effective, it needs to be credible, and it needs to be uh, beautiful. The player can, I don't know, just rushing and uh, evade, but uh, he can also kill all of them with style. That idea is the art of Sifu. Station.